Welcome to Mo's Toy Room. It's Mo, I to the T to the Z, M O E, your number one Rudo announcer in Star Wars collectibles. And today is June the 4th, 2019, and we are going to unpackage the brand new Target exclusive Luke Skywalker and Stormtrooper disguise, six inch black series. Um, apparently this is a very hard thing to find, but here in California, they are everywhere folks. So if you don't have one yet, get your local target. Um, they tend to have a lot of them. And for father's day, they are actually hiding them along with the, um, star Wars retro figures and the Han Solo and Stormtrooper disguise action figure vintage collection in the men's department. So if you don't find it in your toy area, then go over to the men's department. They have a whole in cap right there. And they had them full there. Target's doing that. And you know how it is. Hasbro, they buy the space and they play mind tricks with all the collectors. But that's the way it is. But anyway, folks, today we're going to unveil this thing. As you can see, the box is not that impressive. This figure looks nothing like... This uh, picture looks nothing like Luke Skywalker. When you turn it to the side, zoom in a little bit more. You turn it to the side right here, you can see it has no number, it says Luke Skywalker because it is a Target exclusive. And when you flip it over to the back, uh, it is the standard Black Series stuff with all your information about it. It has that same picture that kind of looks like a pop star a little bit, but just not quite yet Luke Skywalker. But anyway, let's uh, unveil this. I have my box cutter with me today and children at home, if you are watching this video, Make sure that you are in the company of an adult and please do not play with any sharp objects that are not meant for you. Let your adults do it for you and open it. Let's crack it open. All right. It has one piece of tape that went right there. So I'm going to pop it right open. Let's take this out. There's how it looks. You have the brand new Luke Skywalker. He's all scuffed up with his helmet, his gun, and the brand new stands that the Black Series are doing. Um, pardon me, folks, but it is 99 degrees here in California today, and it is 9 o'clock at night. I am shooting this thing uh, to make sure I get you out a video about this. Um, but as I was saying, it also brings the brand new Black Series stand, and it has a comlink uh Remember Luke Skywalker, he's like, 3PO, 3PO, you know, on there on the comm link to help them out to get that trash compactor to stop moving. Um, but he is all scuffed up. But let's get it. Let's release him from this plastic right here. Here you have the stand. It looks like as if you just put the foot in there. Um, let's release his gun. You have his rifle. You have his helmet, and let's release. I'm not. I'm not going to release the comm link, folks, because I don't want to lose it. And it looks like as if it's taped in there in the plastic that is Luke's box thing. But anyway, here we have Luke Skywalker. This is the second Luke Skywalker for the Black Series. The other Black Series boxes, an original box, looks nothing like this one. It is a full window. It is solid black, and I believe it has the blue stripe on the inside of it. I would have to look at all my old Black Series, uh, dig them out of the grave, in order to really get you uh, the right information on that. But I do know that this is the second one. But on this Luke Skywalker, the likeness on this, zoom that in, the likeness on this guy's face is so spot on. And they even made the hair, when you look at the hair, it kind of shines a little. Like as if it has just been wet or has the grime all through it and all that. So this, they they nailed the head, the head on this a whole lot better than they did on the previous uh, Black Series uh, Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper disguise. The arms do move up and down, all the way around. Um... That's about as far as they go to the side. You can see that it doesn't have much side motion. It was hard to get him back down there. And also, he turns right there below the shoulder. He also moves up and down right here at the elbow. 
His hands spin all the way around. The elbow and the arm feel, do feel a little flimsy. So don't try to work with this thing too much because you might break it. Um, but the legs tend to go all the way back. And that's about as far as they're going to go forward. And the feet only move up and down. They do not go sides. Well, they got a little bit of a pivot right there if you could do them like that. Um, but that's about all they do. And he also has his little black holster in the back, um, which is kind of like a more of a vinyl material. Uh, the spin loop around in the back he has a standard Stormtrooper Sky stuff in the back that all Stormtroopers have. You could tell the dirt on this thing looks like as if he just came out of the trash compactor. And with the helmet, the helmet is spot on to the way he looked in Star Wars A New Hope. And let's put the helmet on. I'm sure you guys want to see that. Helmet fits nice and tight. So just be careful. Wow, it's hot here in California. Be careful taking this thing on and off because you will, uh, over time, tend to remove a lot of the paint and stuff from his face. And he has his gun, his blaster, which is spot on. It looks really, really good. They did a really good job with this. Thumbs up to you for that, Hasbro. Let's see if it goes up in his hands. Goes in his hands fairly tight, fairly easy. And let's try the stand out. His foot's supposed to go in there. I got him on like a little uh, thing to hold him on. But he tends to stand up pretty well on this thing. I mean, if you, if you tend to move him back and want to display him on your shelving area, he tends to seem to stand a whole lot better. So... If you're going to display this thing, he's going to display nicely, folks. I mean, it was a good idea that they actually did these. I wish they would have did them from the beginning. Maybe I would have still been collecting Black Series. Uh, but like I said, my daughter bought me this one. So I just might have to, man. I just might have to get back into the game of Black Series. But anyway, folks, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And please slap a like on it. And please leave a comment. Feel free to leave a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this video um, and get all your latest notifications on it by ringing the little bell on the side. Click on that and you'll get all of my latest notifications. I plan on doing at least two videos a week. If I come up with a lot better ideas, a lot more um, brand new um, stuff that I could find in the stores, a lot more better finds. Or a lot more mail calls and I'll do more videos in just two a week. Um, as you can see, uh, you are in Mo's toy room. I am Mo. Uh, this is a small sample of some of the stuff you're going to get in the future. I will give you videos from vintage all the way to now. Meaning like 1977, 78. All the way through 2019, 2020. Um, I will do as much filming as I can to get you... Uh, to view my channel and like my channel. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's June the 4th, 2019. It's Mo, I to the T to the Z, M O E, your number one Rudo announcer in Star Wars collectibles and unveilings. And also, Please subscribe because I'm going to have a whole new uh, logo on my thing. So it will no longer be It's Me. It will be called Mo's Toy Room. Uh, so don't forget about that. Uh, I think it just has a better ring to it. And you're going to be able to find me a whole lot easier on YouTube uh, under Mo's Toy Room. So please feel free to leave a comment. I do get back on my comments. I do like comments. I do respond to comments. I love comments, all that. Any comments, a good comment. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching this video and we are out folks.